All right, welcome back. I just want to put this video together to show some of the injuries I got and how my gear fared uh, during my recent accident. If you haven't seen my low side crash at 60 miles an hour, take a look at that here. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at my gear. Let's start with my gloves. These are Icon Justice gloves. And you can see this one got chewed up pretty well. You know, these are mesh gloves. And uh, hey, guess what? Mesh doesn't uh, hold up well against the street. You know, you can see here that, uh, you know, this is, this is the aftermath. You know, this is, I have some scarring here on my finger. Uh, and I'll show you the injury here. You know, this is what happens uh, when you're using mesh gloves and trying to punch the street. So if you take a look at this glove, you know, it, uh, it, it still, you know, even though it did, you know, break through and, uh, didn't save my knuckle completely, uh, it did save a lot, uh, save me from a lot of damage, save me <laughs> from a lot more pain, you know, you can see all these are ground down, you can see this knuckle here is really ground down, you know, if you compare that to the other side, you can see how much that just ground down on the street, so I must have been just like punching the street, or, or something stupid like that. This is all ground here. So it it, it did its job. You know, uh, if I wanted better protection and, and wanted this finger not to be scarred for life, then I shouldn't have been wearing mesh gloves. <laughs> Lesson learned the hard way. So those are done. Uh, next, my boots, my Alpine Star boots with this little lacing system. Uh, these held up really nicely. Um, you can see I ground down the heel a little bit, and there's like there's scuffing all over the things. Uh, but it really did a great job. Um, I didn't get any damage to my feet. So, hooray boots. Hooray Alpine Stars. These, these were awesome. I would definitely buy these again. Uh, unfortunately, this little lacing system uh, broke. You know, the, uh, the little cover here is, is all torn up, and so this, this thing can't go on it. So, uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, these are, are going in the trash because they uh, are no longer useful. Can't close them. So, that's the boots. Uh, let's take a look at my helmet. So, for my crash, this is my initial impact point. You know, I, I initially hit here as I slid... As the bike slid out from underneath me, I, I hit here. Uh, then at some point I smashed here, and that's when the GoPro had broken off, and you know I was sliding down on that, and you know, there's obviously quite a quite a few gouges here. Uh, and at some point during my little slide down the street, uh, I wound up sliding on my face. And thankfully, I had a full face helmet. <laughs> because if I didn't, this would have been my face! It would have fucking ground down my forehead and my beautiful face would have been ruined. Uh, but thankfully, full face shield protected me from that. And, you know, this ground out <laughs> quite a bit and, you know, got some damage there and there. Uh, so, thankfully, the helmet did its job. Next, we'll take a look at my rock jeans. Uh, and the rock jeans really saved my ass. You know, the only injury I got on my legs was uh, on my right calf. And you'll see my right calf, uh, you know, I got, I got some decent road rash there. And, and that's just because the leg rolled up on the jean. You know, you can see here on the jeans, you know, there's no, there's no damage here. So it didn't, like, scrape through the jean. It's just that the jean rolled up my leg uh, and exposed my calf, and so it, it ground down a little bit. So, no fault to the jeans there. Uh, uh, you can see the places where it did impact. You know, you can see here on my knee. You know, this is my left knee. I got my armor in there, so that protected the impact. You know, it ground down through. It probably would have done some uh, some damage there, but I, I sustained no injury because of thank you to Kevlar. 
Uh, ripped through here in my pocket for some reason. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. Uh, look at the back side. So here I would have uh, scraped myself a new asshole if it hadn't been for Kevlar. You know, Kevlar would have given me a nice ga uh, protected me from a nice road rash gash here. Uh, so this this held up nicely. Uh, you can see other places where it's where it's grinding down. Uh, ripped out my pocket here a little bit, uh, but the jeans held up really nicely. I I really uh, appreciate <laughs> the protection you have provided and the skin you have saved. Thank you to Rock Jeans. And thank you to Rock Jeans for getting more Rock Jeans in stock. If you need more Rock Jeans, go to rockmotocrew.com and you can pick yourself up a Rock set of jeans. Because they rock! Yeah, crash tested, mule on wheels approved. Yeah, then there's my coat. Uh, you can see, this is a, well, what do I got here? I got an Icon... Uh, I never remember the name. Motorhead jacket. This Icon Motorhead. And uh, as I was sliding down on my right side, apparently it ground all the way through the elbow. Uh, but thankfully, I didn't get any injury there. It, it, it ground through, but it didn't touch the skin. So it was uh, a protection on off. The leather was protection on off. Uh, you know, there's all sorts of scuffing all over the jacket. You know, the shoulder... You know, I, I must have hit this shoulder pretty hard because uh, after the accident, my shoulder was really sore. Uh, so this, you know, this scuffing and this sh shoulder pads probably saved me from a worse injury. Um, you know, there's some light bruising there, but otherwise it was uh, it was a okay. Now this side, uh, this is where I, I did suffer some injury uh, when I was riding down the road. I I uh, had my jacket sleeve open like this so I could get more wind in. Uh, unfortunately, when you're doing that, uh, it'll cause the sleeve to roll up your arm. You know, it, it'll bundle back and roll up your arm. And you can see inside here, uh, I got like all this damage inside this sleeve. And that's because the, the jacket rolled up my forearm. And you can see this is the damage that it left behind on my forearm. You can see, like, you know, it's a pretty bad rash there. Uh, and, you know, this is how it looks now. Uh, it healed up pretty nice. Uh, you know, there's a little discoloration there, but I'm, I'm sure that'll just go away in time. I don't think that's going to be really a, a permanent scar. Uh, <clears throat> so the, the jacket held up nicely there. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I, I didn't have, uh, you know, those full... full Gloves that uh, you know go up over your wrist, because uh, apparently if you had that, it would prevent your jacket from sliding up. Lesson learned. Let's see on the back side. You know, again, there's just you know this this scuffing, you know, the scuff marks. Uh, nothing really big on the back side. Uh, the one problem uh, that did happen is. Uh, you know, my jacket doesn't have any sort of way to clip onto your pants. So as I was sliding down the road, this kind of rolled up and, you know, exposed my lower back. So you can see uh, in this scene where I'm sliding down the road, uh, my jacket rode up. You know, <laughs> you can even see my assholes in there. Uh, my jacket rode up, and I was sliding, you know, on my on my uh, back there, on my back fat, and you know that left that injury. So lesson learned again the hard way that uh, you know those those jackets that uh, buckle into your your uh, belt loops those are are helpful, and uh, that's why they have them. I was wondering why. <laughs> They had those little zippers on some of those jackets, and that's apparently why. <laughs> so you don't have your jacket right up your asshole. Uh, anyway, that's my gear. That's my injuries. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, see ya.